Hello, dear friends. I am going to the Arnold Sports Festival and let's pack my suitcase together. Why? Because I get asked, how can I bring stuff for going out, training, expo, business, and a bunch of other stuff in a carry-on. And today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fit it all in. I don't think it's really hard. I'm used to backpacking, so uh, I think putting things in a carry-on is a no-brainer. Like, I flew with all my lifting gear with only a backpack, bringing, you know, work, laptop, chargers, lifting gear, and some clothes to go out before. Now it's a whole carry-on, so I think there's plenty of room, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I bring. Doug, are you gonna help me pack? Are you gonna help me pack? Hmm? She's laying on my t-shirts. Okay, this is how it looks like. Suitcase, traveling bag. We're gonna pack the backpack in, uh, in the end. This is lifting gear and some business stuff. And this is clothes and dog. I'm not taking you, sadly. Hera, do you wanna come with me? Do you wanna come to Ohio? Simcoe, do you wanna come to Ohio? They want to play. Okay, so now that we're here, uh, let's pack some flip-flops. Let's pack some squat shoes. Let's pack some deadlift shoes. I am gonna check my training regimen and check if I need knee sleeves. Usually I squat like over 120, maybe like 125, 130, I will bring them, kilos. So if I squat less, I'm not gonna bring them or maybe even if it's like a single of 140, I'm probably not gonna bring them, you know, 145, if it's below 150, I'm not gonna bring them, screw it. Uh, I also have smaller knee sleeves that are that are not as thick as the Inzer Ergo Pro. These are super thick. You can see they're just standing on their own, right? So I might bring smaller knee sleeves just to keep my knees nice and warm. But for now, I intend to deadlift heavy and squat heavy. So I'm counting on bringing those. Um, probably not bringing the glute band. Let's throw it back into the... Workout bag, uh, I need to buy a smaller baby powder thingy. This is packed in a sock so it doesn't spill all over my gear because it has spilled and everything in my backpack. You can see the belt is a little bit white. It is not white because of the chalk. It is white because the baby powder spilled in my bag. So I typically have an extra pair of lifting socks in case I forget uh, that are clean and I just put them on top of the baby powder. Highly recommend because that sucker opens all the time. Do not count if you screw the top that is just gonna stay closed. Ruler, why do I have a ruler in my lifting bag? Ruler in my lifting bag because occasionally I deadlift off of blocks or I can squat. Well, when I squat on a block, I usually measure it by the looks, by the video. I'm not gonna measure like my depth like this. But when I deadlift, I can measure the height of the block from the floor using the ruler. Skinny, doesn't weigh much. Highly recommend to bring it. If you're like, ooh, what size are these blocks? What size are these blocks? And I'm used to centimeters. People here are used to inches. So in my head, I'm like, how, how much is the? And then you're Googling real size ruler on your phone and you're trying to measure this thing using your phone, screw that. Just bring your ruler. It's flat, it doesn't weigh anything. I always keep it in my lifting bag. It's such a saver of the day every once in a while. Okay, ruler, nose torque. Probably not bringing that. I don't need that. It was back in the lifting bag. Absolutely, definitely 100% bringing the lacrosse ball to roll out. And together with lacrosse ball, recovery wise, I am bringing these cups. They're medium size cups. So I'm gonna cup my quads, definitely gonna uh, cup my QLs and my erectors after the flights. Top of the glute erectors is where I am extremely stiff and definitely, definitely gonna cup that. Um, yeah. No massage, but these three things absolutely save the day because foam rollers, too big to bring. <clears throat> Cups, small, light, ball, small, light, fits anywhere. Wrist straps, clearly deadlift straps for deadlift warmups, even though I am going to deadlift without them, probably my max. I'm not gonna bring chalk. They should have chalk there. I might not even bring 
the baby powder. They should have baby powder at the gym. Um, let's hope they do. Okay, so shoes wise, we've got all of our shoes. We've got the lifting belt. Uh, I will stuff my socks inside the shoes. This is a mouth guard. I absolutely am bringing it. It is small, it is light, and my teeth are already, according to my doctor, are ground. The top surface of my molars is ground off and clench my teeth, not only when I lift, but also when I do yard work, carry heavy stuff around the house, when I sleep sometimes. So I actually wear it quite often. This is pre-workout. I hope that TSA doesn't stop me being like, what is this powder? I'm also bringing creatine in the exact small container and uh, hoping that uh, on my short layover, I don't get stopped with, with questions of what the hell this, is, this powder is. Um, I don't think that's, there's, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm bringing three bags of vegan protein powder. These are uh, just some that I got at the VegFest. I don't typically use this brand. Um, it has a bunch of other ingredients. So it's not just like soy protein, but oh my gosh, so much other crap. And yay, vitamins, who protein for the protein? I eat enough whole foods that I get my vitamins and whatever they put in there for marketing, they can leave for themselves and drop the price of that sucker. But I don't know how much this costs. I know that other products of this brand cost a lot. So I don't buy them. I buy Zao, Sun Warrior, and Plant Fusion. Good brands. Are we bringing? Those are the bags into which I am going to pack all of the lifting equipment, masks just in case, COVID test, kind of necessary thing. Now that you fly anywhere, uh, again, doesn't take much space, but useful. Uh, some brochures, my first and second edition of the Vegan Powerlifting Guide, which you can get link right here and the link in the description. It's a free book that you should just get if you haven't read it yet, because I wrote 90 pages with peer-reviewed information and scientific literature cited for you. Anyway, since it's a non-vegan event, I'm gonna bring the top vegan protein sources with macros breakdown. Uh, you can also download these at this link right here. I have made these a couple years ago, probably need to update, but uh, they're still really good. They have macros and uh, pictures and they look great. My period, Yay! period. So uh, feminine products, bathroom products, toothbrush and stuff. This doesn't have to be large. And my makeup bag, this is probably larger, but um, I'm gonna make an effort to, to look extra pretty, you know? Going out bag, fanny pack, not gonna be fancy because guess what? At events like this, at expos, you take your phone out and put it back all the time. And if I'm wearing this, there is no pockets and this person to stick it like right here or in the back pocket, even if I'm wearing jeans. So I want my phone here all the time and the fanny pack solves that problem. This is a relatively big fanny pack that is rainproof. It's not rainproof. It's waterproof more than the other fanny packs that I have, uh, just in case it rains, but it shan't, it shan't rain. Hopefully it won't uh, and all of my phones and monies and other small crap will stay dry. Underwear, very exciting. Lifting bras. I am yet to decide which ones to bring. I'm probably gonna bring two. Also very trying to save space, going somewhere for multiple days. When you shower, you can shower in your underwear and in your bra. So you take it off in the shower when it's already soapy and you can wash yourself instead of with a uh, little, what do you call the thing that people scrub themselves with in the shower? Instead of that, you can soap your underwear, wash your underwear and clean yourself with your underwear and then just rinse it out and hang it in your room on the chair in the shower. And then in a day or two, or usually in the morning, it's dry. So you can only bring, underwear doesn't take much space, but if you're like super tight on space and you're going somewhere, you know, you're not gonna do laundry, you can just wash your underwear like every day or every other day in the shower. It takes literally no additional time because you're going to scrub yourself in the shower anyways. And boom, you have clean underwear. I could save, 
you know, just a smidgen more space, but I'm probably going to bring a couple of pairs and two bras because I'm not super tight on space. Um, it's little space, but it's not a ridiculous amount of tiny space. Socks, deadlift socks, uh, fancy bras, probably not going to wear them, probably not going to bring them, just decisions, you know, obnoxious vegan shirts, obnoxious lifting shirts, uh, black shirts, total body lab shirt, and oh, a stained shirt, we are not bringing that, go back, let's bring the same one that's not stained, ta-da, okay, dog, <laughs> yes, yes, I know, are you going to miss me, are you going to miss me, Oh, okay. I am also bringing these beautiful loose pants instead of leggings. So I really love how huge and loose they are in these jeans. And everybody wears leggings. I've worn enough, like I'm bringing two tight shorts. If my ass gets tired being tight, and if I get tired being like, oh, suck it up and smile. Uh, I have a loose t-shirt and I have these loose pants. Plant built sweatshirt. So I'm just gonna wear that and look like a bodybuilder. Look like a bodybuilder. I am way too fat to be a bodybuilder right now, which is, which is okay. But bodybuilders, you know, they wear those loose black clothes normally. So it's my plant built hoodie. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. And lastly, I am bringing uh, this duffel vest because it is supposed to be relatively cool in Columbus. So I can just throw that on top of whatever I'm wearing. Who's breaking into my house? Anybody home? Who's that? Amazon? No? No. Okay. Nobody's here. Chill. False alarm. I think that's all regarding the clothes. Let's go. This is the fun part. And the fart part is because we get to pick the water bottle. I'm gonna bring one water bottle for like coffees and liquids, hot or cold or whatever's. <sighs> Please write in the comments which, which one I should bring and I will let you know later. I have this one. Wow, it needs a sticker here. I have this one. Do, 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 do. It has one on the bottom, mm -hmm, sparkly. And then I have this one. This is my oldest. You can see how, how old it is. It's so old, but I love it. And we have this one. Ooh, this needs a sticker here. Something came off. Okay, great. Please put in the comments which water bottle I should bring. I am bringing my grandma's, grandpa's watches. Love these watches. They are no battery. You just wind this up and then they go. Absolutely love these. Oh, speaking of water bottles, if you like the stickers that are on them, you can go to katyagorbacheva.com and get your own. Get your stickers. I, I make them and I sell them and they're cool and they're three bucks each. Um, what else are we bringing? We are bringing some vitamins. Vitamins, pretty simple. We've got my regular um, multi and vitamin D and zinc, and I'm bringing turmeric with magnesium. I combined them in this little jar to make sure that it's enough. That is covered. Tons of chocolate, more chocolate, figs, I mean dates banana, bread, so important. Very important is to bring enough snacks so I actually don't get hungry in the airport and don't buy some crap because I know I will buy like $9 chocolate and it's very hard to find the vegan. So I'm just gonna bring a ton of chocolate, not to spend money on it and to enjoy my 70% dark whenever I have a craving because I know I'm gonna buy it. When I fly, I'm like, I'm gonna treat myself. Getting ready for treating myself with all that. Uh, two pairs of headphones, mirror, business cards, uh, digital business cards, and of course, plants have all this protein you need, vegan strong, bracelet, uh, charger, 
sunscreen, tons of earplugs, and microphones. Oh, I think it's a pretty nifty little setup. Only one suitcase and one backpack. Ooh, shoes. I used to lift in these and in flats all the time for this reason, for the reason that when I traveled for VegFest, I did not want to pack deadlift shoes, squat shoes, and walking around shoes, so I used to lift in just Keds or Vans, and God, it saves so much room. So now I gotta bring three pairs of shoes, four, ones to walk around, Vans. Gotta bring my squat shoes with a heel, I gotta bring my deadlift slippers, and I gotta bring my flip-flops, so, so yeah. That's a little con of using different shoes, but outside of that, I think I'm, I've packed pretty light and I'm excited for the trip. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, so if you already saw the video about my trip, good job. If you haven't, here it is again. Go watch it. We had fun with the Arnold and I think you need to see. All right, this was Katya Gorbacheva. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching the video until the very end. That makes my heart melt.